Well, when I came to Purdue, I could just like see all those airplanes flying all the time, and you kind of have to go fly. I'm Nicole Zafala. I'm a PhD student in aerospace engineering, and I'm training to fly in an all-women cross-country race. It started way back when Amelia Earhart was still doing it, and they do it every year. And the point is, whoever gets there the fastest compared to their maximum speed. So it's a way to get women more involved, get more into aviation, just have some fun, get the, the support network working. There's so many women in it. And I've been wanting to do it for a while, actually. I just never had the resources. And this year, we're doing it for the first time with our flying club. I'm really looking forward to it. There's all kinds of airplanes in the competition. There's like tiny airplanes like ours, there's bigger airplanes, there's twin engines. But our airplane is a Piper Warrior II, it was made in 1984. It's a four-seater, 160 horsepower engine. It has two GPSs in it actually, it has an engine monitor, so those things are going to help us. The one main disadvantage we have is that we don't have one of the pilots, so we have to hand fly the airplane all through the country. So that makes it hard because it takes a lot more work to be precise. So what they have you do is they compare you to your handicap speed as opposed to each other. So the handicap speed is your maximum ideal speed. So if you can get faster than that, that's great. Otherwise, you try to get as close to that as possible. This year we're going from east to west, which is more challenging than west to east. So we'd be fighting the winds, but we're starting from Maryland in Frederick, and then we're going through Ohio, Indianapolis, and then up north towards Iowa, Minnesota, back to Iowa. Going somewhere in Kansas, Texas, New Mexico. So we finish in Santa Fe, New Mexico. So the thing I'm looking most forward to is meeting all the other women, just because, again, we don't have many of us in aviation. There's 118 women this year of different ages, different experiences. So that's going to be great, just like developing those bonds. It will be four long days of flying. You know, we're both female pilots. We have lots of things in common, so we'll find things to talk about with them and just stay in this small cockpit for like four days. <laughs>